Hi, this is Natasha Tracy for Breaking Bipolar at HealthyPlace.com. So on Saturday, I was at an event that was being catered, and the caterers were unloading our lunch, and suddenly one of them stopped our conversation and said to us, I have this friend who did LSD, and now he has bipolar disorder. So did the LSD cause the bipolar disorder? I thought this was a really good question, even if he was asking it at kind of a strange time. It's the kind of thing that happens when people know you're an expert in bipolar disorder. They just come up with random questions at random moments. So I said to him, to the best of my knowledge, and I have since done a research search on it, I do not know of any indications that LSD causes bipolar disorder. In fact, I don't even know of any studies that indicate that LSD is a risk factor for bipolar disorder. However, that being said, LSD, of course, is a hallucinogenic drug. When you take a drug, an illicit substance, you don't really know what's in it. You get it from your neighborhood drug dealer, he says this is really good stuff, you pay him the money, and there you go. And the thing about that is you're never really sure what the compound contains. So naturally, this is going to have unpredictable results on your brain and on your psyche. Now I'm not suggesting that the LSD that this person took caused bipolar disorder. What I'm suggesting is that taking a drug like that is a stressor on your psyche. It's a stressor on your psychiatric wellness. And what we do know about bipolar disorder is the greater the number of stressors in your life, they're cumulative over your lifespan, the greater your risk is for bipolar disorder, assuming you have a genetic predisposition to the illness. So possibly what happened to this individual's friend was that he had a genetic predisposition to bipolar disorder and that taking of LSD was the final stressor needed to push him over the edge so that he would actually manifest the illness. So the LSD didn't cause it and in fact even if he hadn't done the LSD, it's quite possible he ended, would have ended up with bipolar disorder anyways. But then again, he might not have. And we don't really know the answer to that question. We just know that it was likely a stressor, and so it likely increased his risk, but not in any kind of clinical way. Now, all that being said, I did find in the research one incidence where mania was the result of LSD, and the mania actually continued for weeks after the LSD was taken, and the mania had to be corrected pharmacologically. So that person didn't necessarily develop bipolar disorder, but they did develop one of the symptoms of bipolar disorder, which is mania. So no matter how you look at it, taking a drug like LSD is a stressor and is definitely a risk, even if we can't 100% say that it is definitely a risk factor for bipolar disorder, there is still a risk associated with it. My name is Natasha Tracy and this is Breaking Bipolar.